guys today we are getting into the meat and potatoes of this seven day organic strategy now the first day we established that we absolutely have to have our profile optimized in order to get leads because this content strategy right now is to be getting a ton of traffic over to your page so everything has to look legit right we learned the first day how to optimize our profile the second day, we talked about putting together um, all of your stuff that is actually going to make that strategy work, right? Because if we don't have all of these content things in place, if we don't know how to build the right audience in order to even get people that are going to be interested in what we have to offer, we can't go ahead with the content strategy because we can we can bring a massive amount of people to our page, but if if they're not seeing the content that is going to attract them and make them stay, then our strategy is pretty much dead in the water. And so today we're going to talk about the exact content strategy that I personally use every single day, every single week, every single month. We're also going to talk about the formula that is going to 20x your engagement. And you're going to learn how to put together companion guide sheets that are actually going to build trust fast. So one of the questions that I get asked a lot is, Laurel, how do you put out so much content? Should I be selling on my personal profile? Should I be just giving value? Um, should I post anything personal at all? And so today we're going to answer all of those questions because today you're going to leave with an exact content strategy so that every single day you're going to know exactly what you need to post on your timeline. Okay. So a lot of you guys know me for these types of videos right here, right? This is just a single part of the content strategy that I use. And so today I am going to introduce you guys to my me me strategy okay so what does me me stand for okay i use the me me strategy in order to post the right balance of content and so me me stands for motivate educate make the pitch and entertain okay this is a concept that i developed long ago whenever i started doing social media for television right your facebook page is literally think about this Facebook profile is kind of like your own television station. Your personal profile is kind of like your own radio station, right? No one wants to have a radio station that has nothing but, you know, that has nothing but sales commercials, right? No one wants to hear something all day, every day. That's why television stations have different types of programming, right? There's different, there's a little thing, there's something different for everyone, it's not, they're not getting fatigued, okay? So this is what's gonna happen. I see so many people that either you use their profile too much with too much sales copy, and I see people who aren't using enough sales copy because remember, we have to at least make the pitch, right, in order to make our money. And so this strategy right here, we're gonna go over. I'm not only gonna talk about the Mimi strategy, I'm actually gonna show you guys some exact posts just so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So let's start off with motivational posts, okay? And so basically these are posts. Now I'm not just strictly talking about um, posts that have, you know, an inspirational quote. That, that's not exactly what I'm talking about. Whenever I'm talking about motivate, now you can have motivational quotes and stuff like that. That's good, right? That's the reason that we're breaking things up into the four different types of strategies. But whenever I'm talking about motivate, I really want you guys to think about content that is really going to motivate your ideal audience to take action. Okay, so I, I've got a couple of couple of examples right here. And so in this first motivational post, right, we're following the meaning strategy. You got to motivate, educate, make the pitch, and e entertain. All of these are different four different types of content that you should be doing on your personal profile, right? So let's take a look at some motivational posts. Okay, so I I started this post with an inspirational quote. And then I, I'm giving them a guide, right? Check this out. So I made this easy guide right here so you can feel confident about finally putting, pulling the trigger on your first ad. I am motivating my audience to take action. I'm giving them a step-by-step -step guide to help them accomplish something. I'm motivating them. Another one right here. 
here's, you know, a post of me on the beach, right? I know what my ideal audience want, what they're envisioning for their life. They're wanting to have the, the freedom to do what they want, right? And again, I'm, I'm opening up this post with whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe, it can achieve, right? It's one of the best motivational quotes for entrepreneurship right there by Napoleon. But I'm incorporating my own photo and I'm telling a story. I am motivating my audience to imagine their life if they take certain actions, they can do the exact same thing. They can have the life that they want, okay? So that's what I'm talking about whenever I say motivate, okay? So those are the first, that's the first type of post that you should be doing. Now you wanna, you wanna motivate 25% of the time, you want to educate 25% of the time, you want to make the pitch 25% of the time, right? Some of you guys are making the pitch 75% of the time, and then you wanna entertain 25% of the time. So this, this strategy right here is gonna give you a good balance. It's gonna keep your audience engaged, enthused to follow you, okay? So the next type of post that you should be doing, again, if we're following the Mimi strategy, motivate, educate, educate's the next one, okay? So most of you guys know me for my education videos, right? I'm usually at my whiteboard or I'm teaching you guys a step-by-step -step strategy. This is how I do my educational type of content. Now, your educational type of content are gonna have some type of extra thing that is going to enhance the experience. I call these companion guides. Um, and so we're gonna be talking a little bit later in this lesson today because we have joined days three and four into today's lesson. And so I'm gonna have you guys for your homework for this next week, I want you guys to think about four different posts following the Mimi strategy. And I'm gonna have you guys post that underneath this video. So that's your homework today. Remember, if you complete all of the homework, everyone who completes the homework is gonna get a 100% free strategy call where I will literally help you guys build out your entire blueprint for the rest of the year so that you guys can start making the money that every single one of you guys deserve to make. And so again, when you're thinking about your educational posts, these, this is something that I call power content, right? We're giving nothing but value. We're not asking for anything in return. The cheat sheets that I give out, I'm never asking for a name or an email, right? I want my students, I want my viewers, I want you guys, everyone, every time they watch one of my educational videos, I want them to be able to leave that video having executed something, okay? So when you're doing your educational post, better known as power content to my students, I want you to challenge yourself. Before you even do it, ask yourself, what will my ideal audience take away from this video? If there's not one aha moment or one thing that they can execute after watching your video, then you haven't done your job of creating good power content, okay? So we can take a look at some of these. I'm, I'm doing organic training. Um, I'm teaching people how to spend their first $100 on Facebook ads. Again, you, you see that I have some type of companion guide after every single one of these videos, and we're gonna get into how I create those companion guides around these videos to where I'm not asking for a name, I'm not asking for an email, and you're gonna see how that fits into the overall strategy because tomorrow, I'm literally going to show you guys my engagement two-step formula that is going to seal the deal in this entire week. And then on Tuesday, I'm actually gonna sit down personally with you guys, um, same time, 3 p.m. Central, we're gonna all sit down, we're gonna, we're gonna look over everything that we did over the seven days, I'm gonna help you guys work out a blueprint, and those of you who show up on Tuesday, and you've done your homework every single day, we're gonna book a blueprint, 100% free blueprint strategy call with me personally, one-on-one, -on -one. so that's, that's a really good incentive for you to get the homework done, okay? So today, remember, don't forget, you're gonna have your homework where I want you to do one motivational post, one educational post, one make the pitch post, and one entertain. So next up, as you guys just heard, it's make the pitch. Now, again, th these are just some swipe files. If you guys if you guys are in my $7 group, this is straight from the membership area. I just added this training, so all you have to do is go into your membership site if you wanna take a look closer at these posts. Um, it's under the section Lanyap, 
meaning in Louisiana, a little something extra. So let's go right down to the, the make a pitch post. Now, I'm not saying that you should just, you know, sell, sell, sell in these posts, but you have to for some type of sell, right? Like this right here is I'm literally making the pitch for this program, right? This seven day organic strategy. Yes, I am including this type of post into the make a pitch because this is where I'm actually asking you to make a, okay? This is one where I'm asking you guys to make a commitment with me. This is where I'm actually make, asking people to make a commitment for my organic 45 day program. Yes, I, probably a lot of you guys don't realize I have a 45 day organic program. So for people who aren't ready for Facebook ads, but, and they really want to rev up their, their, you know, their content strategy. They really want to rev up their income and learn more in depth how I utilize this engagement two-step formula than the programs for them. And so that's what I'm, that's what I'm selling right there, right here. I am selling, um, let's see, what am I selling? So the, here's a sneak peek of the 45 days. Whenever I first released my 45 day, this was one of the make the pitch posts. And again here, this is one of my pitches for my $7 group. Now guys, feel free to ask any questions at all that you guys have. Um, I know this was kind of a sporadic live, but I wanted you guys to have the training as fast as possible. And so last, the entertainment posts. Now these are the fun posts where you're still letting people know what you do, right? Like right here, like here's a fun photo of me and Ramon, right? Facebook ads, scale, optimize, play with Ramon and Laguna Beach, repeat, right? What is this doing? It's building my rapport, it's building my trust. Hey, I'm a normal person. I am exactly like each and every single one of you guys who are listening to this recording right now. I'm just like you guys. I, I love playing with my dog, I love traveling. You know, I go through the same trials and tribulations as everyone else. And the entertainment part of this meaning strategy lets us really show our audience that we're just like them. Here's another entertainment post I worked in. Did you guys know that I'm in a band? A lot of people didn't know that. And so I just decided, you know what? My band hadn't played in a while and I'm going to write about it. And so that was a good entertainment post. Again, it's humanizing me. I met some of my clients along the way. Good entertainment posts, right? And so giving this balance, me and we're at the sales and marketing, the Sam uh, event in Vegas, having a little fun, a little Romy and Michelle quote, right? Do you have some sort of businesswoman special? You guys remember that movie back in the day? If you guys remember that, uh, let me know in the comments. I freaking love Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Here's my, my, me and my, my friend Suzanne, who also does Facebook advertising. Um, hanging out in Phoenix, we rented a house for the for a couple of weeks actually. And then here's Ramon, dear clients. Ramon will be optimizing and scaling your Facebook ad campaign tonight. So see, like having the right, motivating your audience, educating them, making the pitch, right? Because if we don't make the pitch, we can't make the money, right? And so this is the exact content strategy that I use. And again, for those of you guys who are in my seven dollar group, this all of these swipes can be found underneath the lanyard section. Um, so let's talk about companion guides, right? We, we've switched back over here. You guys can see in my educational videos, I am always, always, always giving away some type of com companion guide or I'm giving away some type of masterclass, right? Talk about companion guides and how you can utilize companion guides. Now, I didn't always have pixeled companions. Let me, I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean. And so this one right here, it was the, walk you through the framework I'm using, want the framework cheat sheet, drop me a line below. And so if we go over here, here's my four step framework. And as you guys can see, I have this pixeled, right? But I didn't always have all of my cheat sheets pixeled. You do not have to. I made my first six figures without any pixeled content. I made them without any use of Facebook ads. I literally went live every single day and I gave away cheat sheets that were literally on Google Docs. That was it. It was very, very simple, okay? Now, the thing that I want you guys to remember and execute this, okay? So you, you know your homework is that you have to make four motive. Now you don't have to post them like on your actual Facebook page. You don't want to post all four at a time, but I want to actually see 
what your posts are going to look like, at least the planning stages of it, okay? So what I want you guys to do is take out a Google Doc or take out a pen and paper and say, my motivational post of the week will be blank. My educational post of the week will be about this. My make the pitch post will be about this. And then my entertainment post will be about this, okay? So I wanna see four of the frameworks for the Mimi strategy that you're gonna execute next week, right? Because, hey, none of this stuff's gonna work unless you start executing. And I want you guys to start taking action like immediately, okay? Now, the second homework that you're gonna have to do is I want to see a cheat sheet or companion guide also below here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do it in Google Docs. I'm not asking for anything fancy, just Google Doc. You could even just outline what it's going to be, but I want you guys to start going through the motions of putting these things together, okay? Now, what makes a good companion guide? Now, there's a misconception. Now, a cheat sheet does not necessarily mean that I'm just gonna give them what I just taught them in the video. What you want to do, now unless it's like a step-by-step -step strategy like what's, what's here, then yeah, you can have it just laid out just like you would. In, right? If you don't want them taking notes and you want them paying attention, you could say, hey, hey guys, don't grab a pen and paper. I want you guys to pay attention to this because I have a cheat sheet for you. So in that case, you could that cheat sheet or the companion guide could absolutely be exactly what you taught in the video. The best companion guides, guys, are companions to the video. Meaning that what you're going to put in the companion guide works with the content that you're doing in your Facebook Live or in your pre-recorded video. I'll give you guys an example. Whenever I did the video version of this right here, of this four-step Facebook ads framework, you could see that it starts with audience building and you have to create custom audiences. And so a good companion guide that I made for the video was a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a custom audience. It worked with the video. The companion guide was not a carbon copy of what I just taught them in the video. It was a companion guide, okay? So that is the one thing that I want you guys to think about. As you're creating your educational post in today, okay? So as you're creating your educational post, I want you to think of one companion guide that you're gonna be able to design to go with that educational post okay so just to reiterate your homework for today it's it's big right we've got two days two days of content in this one video right here so your homework is the framework for four Mimi strategy posts, and then one companion guide framework for the educational post within the Mimi strategy for those of you guys who are just hopping on definitely go back and watch the video definitely worth the 17 minutes of this video because this is the meat and potatoes of how I made my first six figures online without using a single Facebook ad, all organic. And tomorrow, learn my engagement two-step formula that is going to really seal the deal. It's really going to bring everything together. We're going to create a blueprint, and then Tuesday we're going to work. We're going to do another live Zoom call. Okay, so Tuesday, three p.m. We're going to have a live call where we're, we're going to put together everything that we've done this entire week into a blueprint that you're going to be able to follow. And for every single person that has done the homework every single day, you're going to get a 100% free strategy call one-on-one -on -one with me. And we're going to create your blueprint for the rest of the year so that you start 2020 with a freaking bang. You guys have an amazing day. Don't forget, I want to see your homework in the post below. I'm going to be a little bit more descriptive homework is in this post and I'll see I'll see you guys later